All right, I've got the trunk lid ready to go. I still need to do a repair underneath where the hinge mounts under here. I'm gonna go ahead and get the outside primed so that it's done and it can be curing for several weeks till I get around to painting it. I'm not gonna film spraying the primer on this. There's no point I've seen plenty of that. But this is ready. As soon as I get this primed, I'm gonna pull the back half of this plastic off and I'm gonna start blocking out this area. I guess I'll probably start at the top, just work my way down on uh, both quarters. And I still need to strip the paint off of this so that when I go, go ahead and paint the quarter, I can paint that with it. I'm not gonna have it on the car, but I'm gonna paint, paint it separately, then put it on so that I can get paint all the way behind in that, in that little recessed area. But everything's basically ready to go. I just need to pull this back and block it and then get the doors off where I can do the jams. Okay, fuel door stripped. Got it on my mirror holder just so I can leave it on here until I actually get it painted. So I'll just get it shot with epoxy here and then I'm gonna use some leftover primer from this uh, trunk lid that I had it left over from that and I'll just put it on top of this after about 30 minutes or so of it flashing off. All right, I just got the doors off. I've got everything, got the wiring and all pushed back through here so that I can take behind here. When I paint the jam, I can just spray straight over everything, not have to mask it. Now in here, when the quarter panel was replaced, this seam wasn't really sealed, really at all. So I've got a seam seal here, but this area you can see where there's just a ton of trash in the paint. So whoever did this sprayed this whole jam all the way to, to this seam. I don't believe this has ever been sprayed here. I think they masked it off right there. But all this was sprayed with the quarter and none of this was sanded. So I'm gonna have to take off and you can see right here there's a chip and it's just, you can just scratch it off and it's glossy underneath. So I'm gonna just sand all this off at least to get what was added to it off of there down to the original. And then I can uh, probably just prime this. Maybe one coat of primer will be good. Uh, if I go through to the metal anywhere, I'll, I'll put some epoxy, which I'm gonna plan on doing here anyway. I've gotta get this all epoxy wherever I need it so I can seam that, or seal that seam. Now this side, <clears throat> this is all mostly original in here, looks like. Now there is some paint here, but this might've been from when the fender was sprayed. There's some flaking paint inside here. So I'm gonna clean this area out, and if I need to go under here, I can kind of feel some paint peeling under there. This under here I think is original, and so is all this, this jam in this quarter, so. I think this is the only issue over here as far as uh, added paint. I did find a little spot of rust here under the seal when I took it off. So I'm going to take my stripper wheel here and get as much of that rust out as I can. And if I have to, I'll just spot blast it. And then I'll be able to, to just scuff all this in here. Anywhere it's worn through from the door seals and things like that and the place where, right here where I go to the metal, I'll just hit with epoxy. And customers bought new stickers, so all this will come out. I'm going to take the, the uh, strikers out later once I get ready to paint it. I need to mark those so I can put those back in about the same place. We're just about ready to go here. I'm going to get these jams done, and then we can start blocking the quarters in the roof out and get this thing painted. All right, just about ready for paint here. i got a spot prime where I cut to the metal around the wheel arches that I rolled. Got one spot left in here to kind of feather back. There's a little bit of... Uh, rust underneath the paint that was there. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean that area up and this, this will get more epoxy in here. I still got to sand basically inside all the glass flanges and uh, the jam, the rest of the jam that I'm gonna paint around here. But that can just be scuffed with a scuff pad. Got all the primer blocked out. You see right here, I cut through the metal, to the metal there and Right there. So this will just get epoxy. That everything's straight. I just need to cover the metal up and get rid of those those feather edges around it. And I'll see that it'll take care of the rest of that. I still need to go inside uh, from here all the way over and get the top of the jam here in the trunk and then along the back panel. Had to drill the tag holes out to fit the, the actual grommets that go in here. Whoever replaced this panel just drilled into it and put this, a sheet metal screw into the tail panel. 
So this will actually have a, a plastic grommet that snaps in and takes a screw. So I got those drilled out. I need to, to brush in some epoxy in those holes. And then when I paint it, the paint will get the rest of it. I need to cover the bare metal up. This side, I've got a couple of cut throughs. Uh, this, is, this is okay here. This one right here, I'm gonna put a little primer over just to level this area a little bit more. This one's actually straight. Uh, same thing here, I rolled the fender just by hand with hammer and dolly and had to come back and, and tap this a little bit in a few places. And then I sanded this out with 400 just to get all the hammer marks out. I hit it with 180 right on the edge first and then came back with 400, uh, about, about a six inch area around it. So this is gonna get epoxy. Haven't blocked this out yet because I know that's fine. There was no body work there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, and get this epoxy and other primer on, let it be curing while I do that. And everything else is gonna just be scuffed with a red scotch bright after I clean it all up and sand it. Then I'll blow it all out, wipe it down, mask the car off, and hopefully within the next week I can get this back half of the car painted. It's just about ready. But I gotta touch up these wheel arches. Everything is straight as I can get it. I don't know if you can see down the side, but it'd be more obvious with it wet, but it's everything's flat except the wheel arches. I'm gonna get this uh, spot primed here and I'll put a couple of coats of high build primer over this area. I need to be able to block that, but the other side's okay. Okay, I'm finally ready to put some color on this thing. Gonna do the back half of the car, then I'll come back and I'll do the rest of the roof and the, and the front, probably minus the hood. Uh, couple of weeks from now. Got the jams masked off. Gonna be doing the, the jams on the doors also, but that'll be done on uh, at a separate time. Then I'll put the doors back on to paint it with uh, probably with the fenders. Got the heater running right now to warm the garage up a little bit before I start pulling the air through. You go all the way into the trunk jam. Same thing over here. Do into the door. I'm gonna spray some adhesion promoter in areas like this that are pretty hard to sand. I've got it scuffed with a red scotch bright as much as I possibly could. That'll help the paint stick. I don't necessarily need any sealer there, um, but I do need some down here where I've got some exposed cut throughs and the body work. I'm gonna get the sealer mixed up after I put the adhesion promoter on where I need it. That way it can be drying while I mix the sealer. Also got the fuel door up here. And I'll just paint it off the car so I can get all the way around the back side of the hem flange and not have any edges. So that'll be done separately but bolted onto the car since I need to get back uh, in that area. I need to have the door out of the way to get full coverage in here. I'll get you set up on the tripod here in a second, but I'm gonna get the adhesion promoter on it and then I'll start with seal start with the sealer after that.
All right, got to mix a little more paint.
right, it's done. Here's a quick walk around. in the tail panel. And this is Chroma Clear HC7776S. And it was about, uh, about 65 to 68 or so in here. A little cooler than that when I sprayed it. And I used the 80 to 90 degree uh, hardener for this and it's actually a spot clear spot and panel clear so that slows it down enough for me to be able to do an area this big this will need probably another 20 minutes to stay out of dust and then I can start unmasking it and I'm gonna focus on the roof and the uh, and the fenders and the, and the doors next 